Hi, I'm Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor, and this video is about medical philosophies and the differences between medicine and natural health care. And it basically answers the question, why we do what we do? So why does medicine do what they do, and why do the natural health care practitioners do what they do? So I'm going to start actually with the natural health care practitioners. So the, the basis is a sound philosophy, and pretty much the sound philosophy is do what Mother Nature uh, knows best. So the body's made from Mother Nature and the tools that we use come from Mother Nature and, and then you can do body, then on top of that there's body work like acupuncture, massage, chiropractic, stuff like that. And then secondly, clinical experience. So as a practitioner I have years of clinical experience and I know what helped people in the past in my office and maybe it'll help this person that's in front of me now. The third one is history. And so we're talking about hundreds of years or thousands of years of history from other natural health care practitioners who passed on what they know and now we have those tools. So let me give you an example. We have a supplement company that uh, comes from Europe and their history is 600 years of apothecaries around Europe where people would come to a um, health care provider and say, I have these symptoms, and that person would put together some herbs and sell it to them, and then the person would come back and report what happened. So over the course of 600 years, these different apothecaries and these different herbalists would get together and they would come up, they would share their formulas. 600 years of really good health care. So it's hard to beat that. There's no six-week or six-month trial that can beat 600 years. And then the fourth one is research studies. So we're still looking at research. We have PubMed.gov, just like everybody else. And there's great research on nutrition coming out way more now than in 2002, that's for sure. It's fantastic, the research coming out. And just know that the research changes, the philosophies change in research. But when it comes to good, nutritional, sound, um, holistic research, it's out there, it's being funded and it's in the United States and it's it's coming from all over the world so it, this is exciting stuff all of its exciting stuff and then the, on this category we have medicine their first um, is research study so that's why they do what they do everything's got to be based on research and then secondly clinical experience which I've already talked about and then thirdly I just have to <clears throat> throw this down mandates so what do insurance companies mandate and now the government with the Affordable Care Act. And then we have codes like the International Classification of Diseases, ICD-10. So if, if, if there's not a code for a certain condition, then the doctor says it, you know, it doesn't exist. What you have doesn't exist because it's not in the code book. That's why they're saying it. Even though it exists for you and in your head and you're feeling it in your body, if it's not in the code book, hey, it just doesn't exist. Sorry. So... I may have to draw this uh, mandates part and just bring it up to here with the way that things are headed with, our, um, with the way that our system is set up currently. So there you go. So now you know why different doctors will say different things because they're coming from different backgrounds. And I just want to let you, I feel like this is kind of a secret. So here it is. It's on YouTube and you have it now. And so work with this. All right, I hope this helps you.